Oh, geez, look. It's, it's, uh, 31.3 degrees outside. You know, last year, exactly one year ago, today it was 83 at this hour. So much for global warming. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is a uh, video response today. Uh, we're going to do it about uh, how did you do it? Uh, meaning, how did uh, how did I get started uh, riding a motorcycle? And uh, well, for me, that goes way back because I got started because of things that happened very early in life. Uh, I can I can barely remember, but at uh, somewhere between about three and four years old, I had a brother, two brothers actually, who shared a mini bike, uh, you know, one of those with the little uh, lawnmower engine in it, sort of like the one that uh, I bought my bike, like I bought my little boy here recently. And uh, <laughs> I got a ride on it. My brother John gave me a, a short little ride around the yard on this uh, on this little mini bike, and uh, I can remember that being a life-changing experience. I I loved it. Loved being on the two wheels. You know, that little, what, three or four horsepower lawnmower engine seemed like, oh, the, all this power, you know. Oh, I loved it. And I can remember from the time that, uh, as far back as I can remember, begging my dad to let me have a, a little mini bike for me, you know. They didn't even make a mini bike that small, that in those days, yeah, but, uh, but uh, you know, eventually, you know, went from that to a bicycle and uh, learned to ride a bike when I was five. And uh, my dad, I don't know, it's probably 12 or 13, he got me a little lawnmower engine powered mini bike, just like my brother's dad. And, uh, yeah, I'll tell you, I was on cloud nine. I still, uh, look back on those days with, uh, with fond delight. It was wonderful. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> when I turned 14, my dad had this idea that uh, it'd be a good uh, thing for me to get my a license of some kind and you know I don't know what the rules are in other states in Ohio 14 years old you can get a moped license and ride your moped all over town you know legally because up till then anytime I had my bike on the street it was illegal <laughs> so dad goes out and he buys me a Velo Solex uh, moped that's uh, Villa Solex is a French made moped. It has uh, an engine in the front and a little gear like lever, like a lever. You lift the engine down onto the tire, rides on the tire. That's what makes it go. Then you pull it up and that puts it in neutral. <laughs> Pretty simple. It was great on gas. Uh, it, it got almost 100 miles to the gallon. And, uh, I think it topped out at 24 miles an hour if you, if you took the muffler off. <laughs> Man, I had fun on it. It was all right. I mean, 14 years old, riding it just about anywhere you want to go as long as you got time to get there. You know, <laughs> it's time to get back home for supper. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, anyway, that's, that's kind of what started me on, the. Uh, on my long journey into uh, barbarianism, or whatever you want to call it, crime. <laughs> All right, I just heard my camera shut off, so hopefully I got that that vlog in. And uh, well, in, in spite of the fact that uh, the camera shut off, thanks everyone for watching. I
appreciate your 110% attention. <laughs> I'll have nothing left.